very basically, why are you so passionate about this? I think it probably derives from a sense of guilt. Uh, I realized that I got where I got, as most of us did, based on dumb luck, the result of dumb luck, and that those who are not born with the, the advantages uh, don't have the opportunity. And Warren Buffett puts it the best when he said that some of us win the ovarian lottery and some of us do not. So I think it's a, a moral obligation for all of us. It's incumbent upon all of us to try to uh, level the playing field to some degree for those who didn't have the advantages uh, we secured. You can't change or, or, cha or, or change kids' circumstances all by yourself, but you're trying to do this this way. Is this the best way in your opinion? I think everything you do is necessary um, and uh, no one element is uh, the only critical component. Uh, however, if I had to select one, I would say um, birth to three education is the most important. You're teaching little kids. Why hasn't this caught on like wildfire across the country? It is very expensive to provide um, 50 week a year, eight hour a day education for infants and toddlers. It is less expensive than not doing it, but it is expensive to do it. Uh, but the cost in the end? The, the, the cost in the end is negative because the benefits to society from pr providing early childhood education to infants and toddlers is repaid with a return in the form of uh, reduced uh, uh, correctional system costs, reduced special education, and uh, a, better, well, uh, a better educated workforce, uh, and um, greater financial and educational attainment by the, the kids who have gone through the program. Well, you had mentioned before nanny state. What are, what are some of the criticisms that you get for something that seems to be so good? Initially, people uh, were concerned that we were uh, ripping children out of the cradle uh, from their loving parents and putting them in a, into an institution. Eighty-eight percent of them are in daycare already, mm -hmm. and that all we were trying to do was make that daycare constructive and educational. It seems like you're almost bridging the gap between the haves and have-nots in a way. Is there a little bit of that involved, too? Uh, clearly, I'm disturbed by inequality, and inequality in American society is growing. I wouldn't want to restore equality, however, by uh, knocking down the haves. <laughs> uh, I would rather do it through uh, bringing up the, uh, the have-nots. Right. Mr. Kaiser, you're, an, you're, you're a businessman. How do you talk to other business people to get them on the bandwagon with you? We have strong evidence that it works it pays, and it's the right thing to do. No, not just one of those three. On your obituary page, is it gonna say, is it gonna say George Kaiser, the man who ended generational poverty? No, 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 no. Uh, I, uh, I, I, we are flailing at an enormous problem and hope we may.